is Recordology. Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope it was a great weekend. It went awfully fast. In fact, way too fast because I'm going to be back at work before you know it. But it's all good. Happy problems. So, today I went to an antique mall. I decided not to, I don't film every trip to those because, you know, multiple reasons. It's, you know, I don't want to inundate you with, you know, the same kind of content over and over and it makes it awfully hard to get through those, you know, filming everything. So sometimes I'll do haul videos. Sometimes I'll, you know, just upload pictures, which I'll probably do this time. I went looking for Patsy Cline originals on Coral Records and later Decca Records, both on 45 and 78. It came up empty. I did find a cool CD, which I don't have in front of me right now. But I did find Hank Williams, uh, an original MGM Hank Williams, which is cool. And some other, a K-Star on 78, which is cool. But uh, anyway, how have you been? What have you been up to? So today I thought we'd unbox two things. Uh, you know, we go these dry periods where we don't have anything to unbox, and then all of a sudden my office, you know, has a stack of cool stuff to review. So we're kind of in that, you know, mode of, you know, pl uh, plenty of things to review. So that's a good thing. So I thought I'd sort of condense it down into a double unboxing show today. So we're going to start with this. This is a portable CD player. Yes, we're doing a CD player again. Why do I like CD players? A lot of people are like, what are you doing? Who cares about CDs? Well, a lot of people still have CDs. And there's a lot of uh, stuff on CD that's not available streaming. And I, I like the tactile interaction, but still getting the full digital high quality sound. It's uncompressed digital audio. It's better quality than you know pretty much everything you can get out there right now. Although I will say this, Apple Music did just flip the switch to lossless streaming, which is amazing especially the songs that are mastered in dolby atmos with headphones on that is amazing completely lossless streaming audio on apple music and they don't charge any more for it it's really cool but when it comes to digital audio uncompressed lossless cd is my go-to so i have a lot of cds still i didn't throw mine away so this one's cool and it, you know I, I feel like they're all trying to do something unique like what what's unique about this you may have already spotted it but this one has built-in speakers. So kind of like, you know, Walkmans, modern Walkmans, portable cassette players, more appropriately. They put the speaker on there. This is a CD player with that. I've never seen that before. So kind of interesting. I thought we would take a look. Hold it upside down, of course. And what do we got in here? Earbuds. Well, these actually look like halfway decent ones. I've, I think I've had this pair before on something else let me go ahead and open up yeah these are pretty good if they're if they're like the ones i'm thinking of they're shaped like an air like a what do they call them ear pod so i used to say air pod although i don't own any um the original corded version was the ear pod did i get that right yes ear pod so this is the same shape and uh, these are very comfortable to me so that's good i'm glad i got a pair of those this is less exciting this is a uh, micro usb Navisk Auto gift card. Is this like instructions to, uh, yeah, I don't know, to check that out. We've got, looks like a manual of sorts or a quick start guide. Hmm. Pretty cool, but let's not spoil it. Let's take a Let's peruse the device in real time versus looking at pictures of it. There's the manual. Pretty thick manual is probably just repeated in multiple languages. That is it. Okay, I'm actually going to open this. Why, you say? It's just a manual. It's so heavy. I feel like, is this actually printed on, like, glossy paper with pictures? Sometimes they'll surprise you and have, like, full-color pictures and whatnot. Okay, they are glossy pages, but they're not in color. So, okay. One more cable, and then we have the main item. This is just an eighth inch to eighth inch cable. And here is the device itself. So that will be interesting. It's actually a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> it's interesting how many opinions people have about everything. But the last CD player show we did, the one that had the SD card and whatnot, people love to tell me that there's nothing new about this CD player. What are you talking about? Even though everything on it is completely new. You know, like, do you have a CD player with an SD card slot? I don't. Class 1 laser product. And portable CD player. Got rubberized feet on the bottom here. 
Let's take a look at the side here. So we have the five volt power supply on and off slide. I don't know what you call it, a switch, but I thought there was a, I was trying to say like sliding switch. Headphone jack, charge indicator. So it's got a built in battery volume, hold switch on and off, or on and off. I love how I can say something that's completely wrong even though I'm looking at it. Like open latch. And that looks like it. They've done a good job of like hiding the hinge in there and that lid mechanism. Oh, look, look at this. What? What? Okay. Hold on a second. Let's look. Now, this is why you shouldn't throw away your paperwork. You may be surprised after all what you got. So I found no mention of the TF slash SD card slot in any of the literature. They have how to do everything. They don't even mention this. I think there might be one diagram that identifies what this is, but so I'm guessing it's just playback only, which is still cool. You can see how this is kind of like foggy looking. It's because it still has a film on there, I bet. So either I'm going to destroy my screen before your eyes, which would be awesome. I've, I've started peeling on stuff that I thought was this and then have it turn out to be not like my computer monitor at my desk. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's just got one of those films on it. I started picking at the corner. I'm like, oh, no, that's not a film. So interesting. I mean, it's the same size as a regular portable CD player. Somehow, I don't know why, but looking at this made it look bigger to me. Like it was going to be a little bit bigger because of the speakers. By the way, there's nothing on this box that's going to help me understand what the heck this does. Look at the speaker holes, how tiny they really are. It'll be interesting to see what this thing sounds like. Look at that. You can still see where I was scratching it up a little bit. That's probably just gum that'll like wipe off. So let's go ahead. One thing we haven't done yet in terms of, oh, okay, it opens up from the side. Look at this. There's the backs of the speakers. And there's the back of the control panel. It does have the uh, three inch CD finger leverage access area. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put in a CD, just like that. As you can see, it's not much larger than the compact disc itself. Let's see, make sure our hold switch is off. Powering it on, it's already in the on position. I'm gonna hit play. Cool, I think it's got, I'm gonna turn the light off. I think it's got a blue backlit display. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. That's really, really neat. I'll leave the light off for a minute. Cool. Okay, volume is cranked. Put it by the microphone here. Sounds not half bad. I mean, you're not going to be, you know, driving your neighbors nuts with this, but at the same time, it's adequate for like personal listening, I think. Sounds like small speakers. I wonder if those are really stereo. How funny to even bother because they're like an inch and a half apart. You're never going to hear that separation. You'd be better off combining them into one good mono speaker. I like the design of this though. I like CD players that are you can operate with one hand that have everything on the front versus the the edge. It's just more conducive to this is a broadcast CD by the way. It's more conducive to the convenience of operating it. So I'm guessing there's yeah, there's all kinds of anti shake. Okay, I hit the buffer limit. So it probably has like a five or 10 second uh, buffer in there. So it's queuing all the music into, I'm gonna turn the light on again. It's queuing all the music into a, a buffer and then playing it back. Compact disc purists don't like that because there is an aspect to that that can add compression artifacting. So like I was saying before, compact discs are great because they're uncompressed. You're getting lossless digital audio, no matter what Meatloaf says. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google that. And anyway, so the whole thing is that when you have a buffer for an anti-skip, because that's what's ha happening, is it's, it's buffering all the audio into a memory and then playing it back from there so that when you shake it, you know, the memory chip already has the music loaded up and then it can cue it back up. So it's reading the disc faster than it's playing back. It's not in real time. So each track, it spins it up, probably spins for about five seconds and the disc shuts off because the audio is all cued into that memory but that memory can introduce compression to the audio, which on these speakers, are you gonna notice it? I don't think so. So the headphone out, obviously being a headphone jack, there's no line output there. 
TF card. That's interesting. So let's oh, look at this. Speed? Oh my gosh, you can change speeds on it. What the heck? That's weird. Why would you want that? Because it would allow you to listen to audiobooks faster. Let's slow it down. That is a weird feature. Okay, if I say a CD player does something that no other CD player has ever done before in terms of a portable, this has to be the case with this. It's got pitch control. What? That is weird. Okay, so let's see, we got EQ presets. Typical ones, you just toggle through all of the ones there. Mode. That's like intro mode if you wanna to go to um, repeat one, repeat all, all that good stuff. And then it toggles to the off position. Okay, let me shut that off. It is programmable, which is cool. So you could program in audio. Pause it. A, B. A on. A, B. What? You can like program little snippets of audio. That is crazy. That is crazy. Now, how do I get to, how do I play my SD card? Because I got my TF slash SD card. Somebody was explaining to me the other day that TF was sort of the first gen of SD cards. Now they're fairly interchangeable. Okay, how do I do this? So I'm going to turn this off. I wonder if you have to have the disc out of it in order to get it to read the SD card. Because I've hit mode several times and I'm not getting anything. This is interesting. I like it so far. So far, so good. I'll have to listen to some headphones and an idea of how it sounds. Cool. So it keeps your position on the disc too. Okay, so let me take the disc out. And with the disc out, let me see. I'm going to flip it off and then on again. Let's see if we can get this TF card to work. Let's see what happens here. I feel like it's trying to spin up the disc. No CD. Mode. Now can I hit mode? You have to press and hold mode. Okay. Let's try inserting. Usually these go upside down. It's probably the first one I've ever seen that just goes right side up like that. Put that in there. It is on. Let's see if we can get it to recognize the... Hopefully it's not one of those things where it doesn't really have that capability, even though the case has that in there. That is weird. Come on. That's a dud. It does play MP3 discs, and I wanted to show you um, the specs. So, spec'd out decently, and I guess we just have to forget about what I was kind of excited about, this little TF card. I hate that it's got it in there, but it doesn't really have that feature. I don't think the card is upside down. It really doesn't want to go in that way. Okay, that's definitely a bad thing. Okay, well, that's a bummer. So it's cool that it's got the pitch control, although am I really going to use that feature very often? Probably not. Again, unless I was listening to an audiobook on disc. That sucks that it doesn't have the, the SD card slot. That really stinks. Okay, on to the next review. Okay, next up is what some may call a boombox, although <laughs> I'm not going to call it a boombox. This is a portable CD player slash digital music system. This is the Oak Castle BX200 portable Bluetooth CD player. There's no cassette player. So let's go ahead and unbox this. It's interesting. Really cool. What do we got here? So we have another mini cable. Got an AC power cord. So it's got an internal power supply. I kind of agree that it's kind of getting annoying how many products have wall warts, even on stuff that wouldn't normally have it. So here is the user manual itself. Set that aside. And then the device. Come on. Good grief. Okay. Not so graceful. That are removing that. Okay, let me clear up all this trash and packing material and we'll take a look at it. Okay. Pretty small, as expected. What's this? That's cool. I like the blue one. That's neat. Oh, and the pink one's cool too. 
Wow. It's very small. Okay. <laughs> it's even a little smaller than I thought. Okay, there it is. Oak Castle. Is that got a protective film? I don't think so. Look at that. It's already scratched up a little bit. I don't know if that's coming through or not. So down here we've got an aux input cable. We've got a USB and a headphone jack. Interesting to have that up front. We've got our buttons here. Up top is the CD uh, player itself. Probably on the back there's the AC power. Yep, battery compartment. Rubberized feet on the bottom. Looks like it takes four D cells. Interesting. Okay. The antenna stowed back here. A bit of packing material. Let's look under here. We got a little protective card. It's pretty deep cavity there. Recess. The word recess better than cavity. Something pink down in there underneath. It's like a shock mount. Interesting. And then there's a blue shock mount back there. Can you see that? I'm going to zoom in. So there's a pink shock mount down under there. And then back here, there's a blue one. That's kind of interesting. I'm going to plug into my workbench power supply here. Plug this guy in. We'll put the same CD in. I believe this plays MP3 CDs and everything too, but this is just a regular CD. And I didn't see like an on off switch unless it's, oh, that's just right here. Okay, so we'll press and hold here. Interesting, I'm gonna turn the lights off. It's got a red LED screen. It's kind of interesting. Blue for Bluetooth. Press and hold. No, it's hard. That screen does not show up. It's it's a little dim. It doesn't, you know, it's not as bright as it could be, but okay, that's off. Pressing and holding and turning it back on. Okay, so apparently the play, this is the mode switch. So we can talk. Okay, there we go. Aux CD. Okay, so we're on CD mode. Let's play the disc. It is loading. We're going to listen to these lovely built-in speakers here and yeah, this is a mono video today so I don't have the stereo set up but again that's a pretty narrow space between stereo speakers you're not gonna get much of a stereo image there okay I'm gonna increase volume see how loud it gets 30 is the tops it's pretty loud it's not bad Get through that a bit. This is a broadcast disc, so there's like 10 versions of each song. Not bad. It sounds pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad at all, really. Could be louder, but it's... Unlike the speakers on the little CD player, the little portable one, I don't feel like it should be louder necessarily. It just... It's max. I think most people would listen to this at max volume or nearly at max volume. Yeah. Let's see if it's got it. Okay, so it is buffering. A, okay, so it is buffering the audio. We talked about that before. Let's test the radio then. So you press and hold to skip stations. Sounds good. Actually, the way I think of it is this. I find that the radio actually sounds better oftentimes than a CD on small speakers like this. The reason being is that they compress radio audio and they don't compress it in the terms, in the way that we think of compression for digital uh, music transport. They compress it in terms of kind of like the loudness wars of compact discs where they take the spectrum of sound and shrink it down into a narrower band of less dynamic audio. The thing is, is these speakers obviously aren't picking up truly a full range of sound. I shouldn't say picking up. They aren't reproducing a full range of sound. So the all of the uh, audio frequencies are kind of crushed into a range that these transport very well. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but a re a, a, playing a CD on this is going to be, you know, providing a full spectrum of sound of which 
these speakers are grabbing kind of the middle bands, the middle road of that audio spectrum, whereas the radio, these are able to reproduce that in its entirety, so it sounds fuller. Okay, Bluetooth, obviously you can hook up your phone to this. Aux input and CD. Now, how do you get, I'm assuming that these, the USB is on the same thing as the aux. So let's put in a USB stick that has some audio on it. So I inserted a USB drive that had a bunch of music in different folders. By the way, it does go into, um, if you go in auxiliary mode and put the USB stick in, it'll, it'll switch to that. Anyway, I had all these uh, folders with different songs and audio and it didn't work. So I deleted everything off except for two MP3 files. Looks like it is in fact playing something back. So, yep, cool. So it works. So here are my objective thoughts at the end of the day. This is a, you know, this is an entry Some level. Conversations and mom. This is. A, how do I turn it off? Press and hold the power button. Okay. It's an entry level device. It doesn't have the highest quality build of a portable that I've ever seen. The materials feel adequate. None of them feel like they're a problem, but it definitely feels like an entry level product. To me, something like this should be like a. 15 to 20, 25 dollars at a stretch type of device. Does not have a cassette. Does have the MP3 uh, capability. It does have Bluetooth. So I, I don't, I'd stretch to 35. I'd stretch to 35. It's got good features. Aux input, Bluetooth, USB, uh, CD player, and uh, MP3 CD player, all that good stuff. It does have a radio. Anyway, two unboxings for the price of one. I hope you guys thought this was interesting, if nothing else. Thank you so much for being out there, guys. Listen, our channel is exploding right now. We have had incredible, incredible growth in subscribers since 4th of July weekend. And I'm not 100% sure what to attribute that to, but our stats are up across the board. We haven't given, we haven't even done our giveaway for the 15,000 yet. That's coming up soon, alive for that. So, you know, and here we are, you know, approaching 16,000 in the next day or so. So this is crazy. So to all of the new people, welcome aboard. We've got hundreds, I think over 800 shows now. So go back, check it out. We've reviewed so many products and done so many cool and I think fun videos. And mostly it's just us hanging out. It's not a polished, you know, tech moan show. It's a just hanging out at the workbench, sometimes in the kitchen, sometimes on the road, sometimes at a store and uh, sometimes at different events that aren't even record related or audio related, just hanging out. So it's, um, it's kind of like a social tech show combination just here to have fun, and I appreciate each and every one of you. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Happy record hunting. We will see you next time.